Assalamualaikum and uh, good morning to everyone. So today, Teacher Azwa will continue to lecture on Chapter Four, periodic to- periodic table of element. Okay, so today, uh, Teacher will um explain to you guys from four point one until four point three. Okay, so four point one, the development of periodic table of element, and then four point two, the arrangement in the PTOE. And then 4.3, teacher will continue with element in group 18. Okay, so guys, are you ready? Alright, so the development of the periodic table of elements. Okay, so you guys must be wondering who are responsible to uh, find out about element and then how the element was arranged in the PTOE. So, okay, so this is the first uh, scientist who classify the element into the group of metals and metal gases and metal oxide okay it's uh his name is Antoine Lavoisier okay and then followed by Johann W Dober Doberinia <laughs> okay so it classi- uh, he classify element according to their similar chemical properties or into the group okay at that time they call the group as triad Okay, and then John Newlands, um, he arranged um, all the elements in the increasing atomic mass and he introduced the law of octaves. Alright, so next, followed by Lothar Mayer, okay, he classified the element according to their atomic volume. Alright, okay, so this is the one very famous uh, uh, contribution to the PTOE. Who the uh, his name is Dimitri Mendeleev. So Dimitri Mendeleev arranged element in order of increasing mass and grouped them according to the similar chemical properties. And then the last one, Henry J G Moseley. Okay, actually he studied the spectrum of X ray of elements and he rearranged the element in order increasing of proton numbers. So it can be concluded that. The proton number should be the basis for the periodic change of chemical properties instead of atomic mass. Maksudnya, lepas habis semua finding ni, uh, all the scientists uh, dia dapat terjemahkan ke PTOE yang modern. Dia kata bahawa sebenarnya uh, all the element are range based on proton number, not atomic mass. Okay. Alright. So, element in the modern period table are arranged in increasing order of proton number from 1 until 113 so element with similar chemical properties are placed in the same vertical column okay we call it as group okay did you explain further about that so this is the modern periodic table of element so um column yang dari atas ke bawah tu yang menegak ke bawah tu kita panggil sebagai group Okay, and then uh, row yang melintang tu kita panggil sebagai period. So, seperti yang kamu semua nampak, dekat periodic table, there is a group 1 until group 18. And then for period, so there is period 1 until period 7. Okay, so this is the periodic table of element. Okay, so group is the number of valence electron in an valence electron in an atom decide the position of group of an element in the PTOE. Okay, maksud dia dia cakap um, berapa bilangan valence electron itu menentukan element itu duduk di group mana. So sekiranya element itu it it has one to two valence electron, one or two valence electron, so it will locate at group one or group two. If the element has three or eight, three to eight valence electron, so it will locate at group eighteen. Eh, group sorry, group thirteen to group eighteen. Okay, so maksudnya lepas dua awak kena tambah sepuluh. Maksudnya kalau tiga valence electron dia maksudnya di group thirteen. Kalau dia empat valence electron dia maksudnya di group fourteen. Okay, so kalau tujuh valence dia maksudnya dia group seventeen. Okay, begitu. Okay, untuk period pula, so Period menunjukkan the number of shell occupied with electron in its atom. So, ada berapa banyak shell yang ada elektron, uh, begitu juga lah period dia, ada berapa banyak. So, kalau langsung contohnya, sesuatu atom tu dia ada 3 shell occupied with electron, meaning that it locate at period 3. 
Okay, so actually in the periodic table, there is a common name. Okay, usually used to um, study about the periodic table. So, for example, group 1. Group 1, there is a name lain dia, which is alkali metal. Okay, it also known as alkali metal. Okay, because this metal can has uh, alkaline properties. Okay, ni akan di-explain oleh Senasi nanti. Okay, next, group 2. Okay, group 2, it also known as alkali earth metal. Okay, for group 17, okay, group 17, it also known as halogen group. And then group 18, we call it as noble gases. Okay, as you can see, there is another uh, group of element, which is transition element. Okay, transition element is element which locate from group 3 until 12. Okay, kita panggil semua metal dalam tu ialah transition element. Alright. So, teacher continue. So, about atomic size. So, ini secara general saja from element 1 to 20. Actually, it's applicable to all the element inside the PTOE. So, as going down the, the group, as going down the group, actually, this atomic size and mass for element is become bigger. Okay, it can, okay, they can become bigger. But across the period, okay, the size becomes smaller. Okay, atomic size becomes smaller. So, nanti bila teacher explain more about uh, group, okay, each group kamu akan fahamlah kenapa uh, bila makin ke bawah, size makin besar, bila makin across the period, dia akan makin kecil. Okay? Okay, so, finish... Um, 4.1 and 4.2 Okay, teacher bagi kamu satu exercise Okay, example lah untuk kamu kan Okay, so Based on the diagram Okay, as you can see This is uh, sodium atom Explain the position of sodium atom In the periodic table of element 5 marks Okay, soalan macam ni boleh keluar dalam AC Okay, dia boleh keluar dalam AC Dia juga boleh keluar dalam structure Okay, so senang saja, jangan kamu terkejut walaupun dia lima marka sebab mudah saja untuk jawab AC chemistry as long as kamu tahu dia punya konsep. Okay, so um, firstly, untuk kamu tahu position of any element in the PTOE, you have to know the electron arrangement for that particular atom. Okay, for example, uh, proton number for sodium atom is 11. Okay. So, we have to write down the electron arrangement for Na atom is 281. Okay, bila kamu tulis saja electron arrangement for Na atom, kamu akan dapat satu markah. Okay, maksudnya pemeriksa faham bahawa kamu nak detect location of sodium atom in PTOE by using electron arrangement. Okay, uh, okay di sini saya nak highlight sikit perkataan atom. You must uh, put Na atom. Okay, atom tu mesti ada. Okay, walaupun dalam soalan dia pakai atom ke, dia pakai element ke, okay, kamu biasakan tulis word atom. Okay, so if and a tu, kalau kamu nak tulis simbol boleh, kalau kamu nak tulis uh, penuh aja pun, tak apa, tak ada masalah. Okay, uh, chemistry sangat simple. Okay, next, bila kamu dah buat electron arrangement, the second point is... The position of Na atom is in group 1. Okay, macam mana teacher tahu? Macam teacher explain tadi mula-mula. Macam mana teacher nak tahu dia group berapa? Teacher tengok dia punya valence electron. So, kamu tengok valence dia satu kan? So, maksudnya dia locate kat group 1. So, reason itu menyebabkan kita tambah lagi satu markah. Okay, dan low battery teacher. Okay, so atom Na has one valence electron. Okay, wait, wait. Kenapa ni? Biasalah kan Okay Abaikan sekejap Kenapa Teacher punya ni Okay Kita sambung balik Okay so atom Reason kenapa di dalam group 1 Because atom ini has one valence Electron Okay next period Okay position of sodium atom is in period 3 Because Atom Na has three shell occupied with electron. Okay, simple je kan? Maksudnya, first kamu bagi tahu electron arrangement. Kedua kamu, dari electron arrangement, kamu tahu dia dah dekat group mana, period mana. Okay, sebab valence electron indicate the position, or, uh, the group. And then, uh, 
uh, how many shell occupied with electron indicate berapa pula dekat mana pula period dia so simple je kan ok next teacher move on dekat 4.3 element in group 18 ok kita akan pergi one by one ok group 18 group 1 group 17 uh, transition element and also period 3 ok itu yang termasuk dalam syllabus kamu lah dalam chapter ni Alright, so 4.3 element in group 18 Ok, so as I mentioned before Group 18 known as noble gases Noble gases maksudnya baik kan Ataupun sangat bagus, sangat perfect So noble gases are monoatomic Mono, mono maksudnya satu kan Atomic, maksudnya Group 18 exist as monoatomic Maksudnya dia tak pernah combine dengan sesiapa Dia memang exist Secara single Okay And then group 18 has very Small atomic size Colorless at room temperature and pressure Low melting and boiling point And so low in density Insoluble in water Cannot conduct electricity And also poor conductor of heat Okay Hai. Sorry sorry Masalah pula Tijap punya slide ni Okay Next Element in group 18 Macam kamu nampak Helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon Okay So kalau kamu nampak Atomic size, melting point, boiling point, density Dan dia punya relative atomic mass Semua as going down the group Semuanya increase Okay So why atomic size increase Going down the group from helium to radon because the number of occupied shell in the atom increase from helium to radon maksudnya daripada helium sampai radon dia punya dia punya shell dia bertambah maka atomic size dia pun bertambah okay increase so why melting point and boiling point increase from helium to radon because since the atomic size of each element increase down the group the force of attraction between atoms okay between um, group 18 atom uh, become stronger Maksudnya force antara satu atom dengan satu lain Become stronger So more heat energy is required to overcome the forces So sebab tu from helium to radon The melting point and boiling point increase Walaupun secara generalnya Dia punya melting and boiling sangat-sangat rendah Okay but still from helium to radon Dia punya melting and boiling increase Okay so the density of element increase Okay sebab Disebabkan atomic size dia increase Of course lah density dia juga akan increase Okay, so this is the electron arrangement for group 18. Okay, yang teacher nak introduce ialah duplet dan octet. Actually, teacher dah ajar kamu masa chapter 2. So, first shell, uh, maximum is 2. We call it as duplet. And then, second, third and until last shell, uh, maximum is 8. Okay, we call it as octet. Okay, so as you can see, uh, group 18 ni perfect. Maksudnya, dia punya valence electron dia semua maximum. Okay, sebab tu kita panggil dia noble gases Okay, inert properties of group 18 All noble gases are inert Which mean chemically unreactive Helium has 2 valence electron uh, Other has 8 valence electron Okay, this electron arrangement Are very stable because the Outermost occupied shell are full Macam tu saya cakap tadi That is why noble gases exist And monoatomic gases are un and are chemically unreactive group 18 element do not release their electron receive electron or share electron okay so users of group 18 okay ni macam nota kamu kan okay ada macam-macam kamu boleh baca sendiri sebab okay sebab teacher punya handphone ni dah nak habis bateri okay so ini example of the picture so kalau kamu sangat berminat sebab group 18 ni very very um, useful okay in industry in medical macam-macam lagi so kamu boleh google okay banyak sangat uh, users of group 18 okay dan sangat menarik lah untuk kamu baca okay last one exercise okay as you can see the diagram shows the result when argon and oxygen is filled into a bulb Based on the diagram, explain why argon is more suitable to be filled in the bulb than oxygen. Okay, so bila bila kamu bila dia mula kita pakai tungsten argon, okay, bulb menyala. Tapi bila kita pakai oksigen, bulb dance naik up sebab uh, tungsten itu bakar. Okay, so reason dia because atom argon has achieved stable octet electron arrangement. Teacher nak highlight perkataan atom. Bila kamu deal with 
uh, Group 18 kamu mesti buat perketan atom Itu menunjukkan Group 18 dia memang monoatomic Okay So atom argon does not react with tungsten Ataupun atom argon does not donate or receive or sharing Electron ataupun inert So oxygen atom can accept electron from tungsten But uh, uh, and then kenapa yang bawah tu dia meletup Sebab oxygen atom react with tungsten Okay itu tiga markah untuk soalan ni Alright So that's all. Thank you for your attention. So, saya harap kamu faham. Kalau ada yang kamu tak faham, kamu boleh tanya. And uh, boleh menggunakan nota yang saya buat ni untuk kamu jawab latihan. Okay.